So you're uh, restoring uh, antique radios, uh, predominantly their their AM uh, receivers, and you know you spend a lot of time, um, you know, rebuilding them and uh, refinishing the uh, the cabinets, etc. And you, you're you're all proud, and uh, you fire them up, and uh, after a while you do a few of these, and you start thinking to yourself, at least I did, my gosh, AM radio is horrible. <laughs> Um, sound quality aside, I mean, just the programming that's available now is, 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 I, I think just atrocious, you know, stuff, some of the stuff on there just amounts to, uh, um, you know, 24 hour sales pitches, um, um, et cetera. And, you, you know, it's very difficult to find, um, good music programming and, you know, I'm only 30 miles or so from, uh, two major cities, uh, Boston being one of them. And, um, uh, uh, having you know a real difficult time even with my better receivers receiving a good strong signal um, so I've been excited to uh, to purchase an, an AM um, transmitter uh, that will allow me to um, plug in a um, into the transmitter uh, an iPod source what have you so that I can actually you know create my own miniature uh, AM radio station within the house and you know if I control that through my iPhone say if I had a um, um, uh, an AirPlay device plugged into the AM transmitter. I can just simply go to my um, iPhone uh, and you know look for my you know my uh, house AM transmitter and send whatever I want to it from I iTunes or what have you, uh, and then pick it up and you know tune that station in into the various uh, AM receivers uh, throughout the house. So um, you know a lot of people do this with their vintage radios, and I've been excited to try it. Um, this is going to be a review and um, of the um, this particular AM transmitter kit available through uh, uh, Sean Dash. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. J C I L, uh, an eBay seller. Um, I recently received this kit. Um, I started building it, and I ran into a little trouble with um, well, for one, the instructions um, uh, pertaining to the diodes. Um, the first problem I ran into is that, well, as you can see with the kit, you're, uh, he denotes that there's uh, there are two diodes um, included, uh, a 1N60 and a 1N4148. Problem was, okay, you get to page uh, 8 on the instructions and we see here he's asking for the 1N60 diode. So yeah, I went ahead and installed that. Then I got further along, got to page 12, and it says mount 1N60 diode. Okay, there are only two diodes included in this kit, and I searched everywhere for uh, a reference to the uh, 1N4148, and I could not find it. Um, the other problem I ran into is that when I was uh, uh, putting together the board, I um, you need to sort of because of the style of the of the board, um, some a lot of the components you can see here, the resistors have to sort of be uh, there. You know, they're in, a, in an axial form, obviously. So you need to bend over the leads uh, to to get them to fit on the uh, the circuit. Well, when I went to bend over the leads on on this diode here, you can see I actually broke it off. Um, I attempted to fix it with a little solder blob on top and. Uh, I spent a lot of time trying to get that work. I put it in the board and I thought to myself, you know what? Once I get this into here, which is the main uh, box for the transmitter, there's a lot of, there are a lot of other cables that are going to be folding over this. Um, in the event that um, this connection that I made with a diode is, is, is not sufficient or that perhaps I um, damaged the diode by adding um, that extra heat to it, and I, had, you know, it required quite a bit of dwell time to get that that solder to lift there. That if you know, I need to go back in and remove this, it's going to be be a lot of work. So I, I decided to put the brakes on the project and um, look into getting a replacement. Um, I actually sent an email to um, to the seller, and I had I didn't hear back from him at first. So I went ahead and I ordered. Um, uh, a replacement diode, um, some replacement diodes for the uh, 
because I wasn't certain. A couple of uh, 1N60s and a couple 1N4148s. Um, I just received those and I, I was getting ready to proceed and I was going to go going under the assumption that, well, the, the second reference to the uh, so the 1N60 was incorrect, so I'm going to go ahead and do what I did and install the, uh, take this 1N4148 in this, I'm calling it the second position because it's a, it's the second reference to um, the diode and the instructions. Um, but, you know, I, I uh, decided uh, one last time I would try to contact the uh, seller um, to clarify things. And this time I went right through eBay and, uh, he, he responded back right away. So credit to him there. Um, for whatever reason, the, the email that I sent didn't reach him. It could have been a problem on my end, but yeah, he reached out very quickly and aha, he actually clarified. He thanked me for, for pointing this out on the, um, on the instructions. So hopefully he'll be fixing this in, in future kits, um, with the instructions you receive. So it turned out that the um, the the seller told me that it was actually the the, the first um, the first uh, call for diode was supposed to be the one N sixty. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was supposed to be the one N four one four eight. Well, problem is I went ahead and I installed the one N sixty there, and um, that's right here. And as you can see, that was. If you can see that this was a bit of a trouble here because we had to fold it over and then attach this capacitor to it. So this has to be undone and I'm going to put the um, the uh, 1N4148 in there. And in this, this position here, uh, this dial will be removed and the uh, 1N60 will go there. So it's a good thing I ordered a couple extra uh, diodes so I can fix this up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm certain that if I had requested um, from the seller, I did originally when I contacted the seller, requested that he send me replacement diodes. I'm sure that he would have if he had received it in a timely manner. But um, um, but I, I as I hadn't heard from him, I went ahead and ordered a couple. But, um, you know, so far, I think it was just a um, communication problem there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll continue um, with the build. Uh, I probably won't spend too much time talking about the build on this. I really want to focus on this performance when we get it going, um, how well it works, et cetera. Um, I should note too that the seller, let me go back here, um, also has a product which I received last night and uh, very, very happy with. Uh, uh, this is an FM to AM converter transmitter <laughs> for for vintage radios. Um, so I got this last night and, uh, you know, I set it up next to a couple of old radios I restored from the 40s. And uh, what it does is it actually, it's it's amazing little device. It was, you know, $59.99, I think well worth it. Um, you can tune in uh, FM stations. It has an, an FM receiver in it through the dial here. And, um, and I found the reception was phenomenal, really, with just a wire antenna. Uh, and then it actually transmits to an a to uh, an AM station, which you can um, you can actually dial in yourself. And I had great luck with this last night. I had um, some really the best sound I've ever gotten from these old radios doing that. Um, picked up. I was listening to some um, classical stations last night, and through the old radios, it really really worked well. So I'll probably do a review on this later in a separate video. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that. Um, I should also mention too that uh, <laughs> about six weeks ago I purchased a, a transmitter from uh, sstran.com. Um, these are very highly rated um, transmitters, but uh, he, the seller does seem to have a bit of a reputation for uh, not giving you any um, response after your order, um, not even you know giving you a um, a confirmation email that he received your order um, and then when you inevitably as time goes on you don't receive the unit and you email and find out what's going to ask what's going on you don't receive a response now I, there's uh, I probably read you know five six or more posts online about this uh, situation with this fellow so uh, I have yet to receive this it's going on six weeks this is what I ordered the MT 5000 um, haven't received it. Uh, he got my um, money 
you know, five, six weeks ago through PayPal. So um, just a little caveat there. Who knows? Maybe this will show up one day. Uh, so if this, uh, this transmitter that we're working on now works out, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I don't know, either uh, try to cancel the order or go through PayPal and, and try to get them to um, get my money back on this.